changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. It's Motivational Monday, and that's when I get to share a Chicken Soup for the Soul story that I found particularly inspiring. You know, one of the great things about editing Chicken Soup for the Soul books is that I get to meet so many amazing people through their stories. And one of the most inspiring people I've met this way is Cindy Charlton. She's written stories for a number of our books. And after reading her stories for years, I even got to meet her in person in Denver last summer. Cindy never fails to inspire me with her positive outlook. She has a story called No Food for Alligators, which we published in Chicken Soup for the Soul, From Lemons to Lemonade. And she wrote, I freely admit that I am a Pollyanna. I look for rainbows after the storm. And she's been accused of being, quote, annoyingly happy. Cindy's disposition is remarkable when you consider what she's been through. Back when she was a young mother, she woke up one morning feeling fine, but by the evening was fighting for her life. She had contracted one of those horrible infections that we call flesh-eating disease, and the actual name for it was strep A necrotizing fasciitis. This infection raced through her body, and she ended up losing her right hand, the lower halves of both legs, and the left side of her chest. So she became a triple amputee. And after the amputations, she lay in her hospital bed in a state of panic, wondering how she was going to manage two small children, a husband, a home, and her job. But during the months of treatment that followed, she managed to focus on the fact that she'd survived and on what she still had instead of what she'd lost. She spent more than four months in the hospital, and she says that she left feeling as if she'd been reborn. Cindy adapted to the new version of her life, one that included prosthetic devices, endless physical therapy. She cared for her two sons, and she helped them heal from the trauma of almost losing her. And she never lost her sense of humor. In one of our books, she wrote a story about the fact that one day she broke one of her prosthetic feet, and she had to crawl into her car, and then she dropped her son off at school and she pulled up next to a friend, and she said, I need help. I broke my foot. And her friend was horrified because she forgot that Cindy's feet were not made of flesh and blood. And then Cindy pointed towards the broken, fake limb sitting on the passenger seat next to her, and they both burst into hysterical laughter. This is a woman who can find the good in everything. And the story is even more remarkable because just as Cindy was coming to terms with life as a triple amputee, Tragedy struck her family again. Only two years after her husband had acted as her caregiver, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and Cindy became his caregiver. But of course, being Cindy, ever positive, she says, being the caregiver is invaluable, life-altering, and transcending. It is one of the most amazing gifts of all. So after her husband died, Cindy had to deal with his death, plus the fact that she was a triple amputee. But she managed it, and she kept her two young sons happy and healthy and not too overwhelmed by all of the awful things that had befallen their family. This woman is amazing. And now she does a lot of motivational workshops and public speaking, all in Colorado. She calls herself the Disability Diva. And she sums up her positive attitude by saying, if I only looked at what I've lost, I'd never be able to see what I have. Cindy Charlton has definitely demonstrated the tremendous inner strength that a human being can have. So when we're feeling overwhelmed here at the office by something really inconsequential like having to edit books, invariably one of us will point to Cindy as a shining example of why we shouldn't feel sorry for ourselves. Now, Cindy's stories have been published in four of our books so far. Chicken Soup for the Soul, Angels Among Us, Family Caregivers, From Lemons to Lemonade, and The Power of Positive. If you'd like to read more of her positive stories, you can search for them on our website, chickensoup.com. 
And tomorrow is Tip Tuesday, and we're going to change topics, and we're going to talk about how just a few well-chosen words can completely change your life. And in this particular story, it will be a few words from a homeless man that he spoke just hours before he died. I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. We're hitting new records for listeners every week. But of course, because I work really hard on these podcasts, I would like even more listeners. So please share the podcast with your friends and family. And drop me a line. My email is amy at chickensoupforthesoul.com.